Hello folks, so this is 2022 May June paper 2-3 and the question number is uh, 6. This question is concerned with the chapter current literacy. The first question says on figure 6.1 sketch the IV characteristic of a filament lamp. Filament lamp. So uh, the characters will be simply somewhat like this. It will be like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Somewhat like this. It has to start from 0 and it will be curving more towards, uh, towards the voltage. Of course the difference. It says now explain the shape of the line in A1. So we have to explain why this happens. So what happens is uh, when voltage increases, when voltage increases, increases, uh, current increases definitely, current increases, and that this starts to cause heating of the filament, heating results, heating of the filament, heating results. So because of the heating, the temperature increases. So temperature increases. So increase of temperature means that uh, the resistance also increases. Resistance also increases. And if R increases, then we must have V by I ratio should increase. V by I ratio should increase. So that's why as you go to higher V, V should be more, V should increase more and I should increase less. So that's why the curve is like this. Now, number two. In number two, we have got a conducting uh, wire has length 5.8 meters, so it is L, and cross sectional area this much, which is A. The resistivity of the metal of the wire is uh, this much, which is rho. Calculate the resistance of the wire. So it's simply equal to R equal to rho L by A equal to rho is 5.6 into 10 to power minus 8 into L is 5.8 and the cross sectional area is 3.4 into 10 to power minus 8. So this will be equal to, so if I it will be equal to uh, 5.6 exponent to minus 8 into 5.8 divided 3.4 exponent minus 8. So this gives the value of R as 9.5529 and so on. Oh. So if I write it in uh, 3 SF, it is 9.55 ohm or 2 SF, it is uh, 9.6 so I should write 9.55 ohm so this is the value of the resistance now number C it says a resistor of resistance R is placed in a circuit with a negligible uh, cell of negligible resistance two switches S1 and S2 S2 a second resistor of resistance 2R and a three ammeters X, Y, and Z. The circuit is shown in figure 6.2, like this. The reading on X is 1.0 ampere when S1 is open. So when S1 is open, it is 1.0, 1.0 here, 1.0 is over here. Uh, and S2 is closed, so S2 is closed. So this is open, this is closed. The current here is 1.0 ampere. Complete table 6.1. So we have to complete this table. So let's do it. So uh, for ease, what we, I do is let me name this term as AB. AB. So now uh, when both are open, both are open, current cannot flow through this branch. Current cannot flow through this branch. So both uh, this reading, Y and Z, Y and Z 0, 0, and X also 0. No flow of current. Now when we close S2, when you close S2, current flows like this current flows like this so the reading on x is 1 ampere and if current flows like this all of this current will flow through here so that's why the reading on z also should be equal to 1.0 ampere but since it is open yes one is open yes one is open current cannot flow through it so that's why it should be equal to zero okay now when yes one is closed yes one is closed and yes two open so yes to open means z should be zero z should be zero so it is zero zero now we have to find what is the current here what is the current here so for that what i can do is i can do is uh, from the initial conditions i have got this v a b is equal to v a b is equal to equal 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 to uh z reading here so equal to the current into resistance here so that's equal to I into 2R. VAB is equal to I into 2R. So I, 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, so i into 2r and this i is equal to 1 ampere into 2r. So numerically it's equal to 2r. So the value of VAB is equal to 2r, which is supplied by the source. Now, when current flows through here, now I will have VAB is equal to I1 into R. VAB is equal to R. So VAB is equal to 2R. So 2R is equal to I1 into R, which means I1 should be equal to 2 amperes. So this time the current should be, should be, should be 2 amperes here. It doesn't flow through this, but here it is 2 amperes. So that's why for Y it is 2.0, 2.0. Here it is a 0. And if it is 2.0, this whole current flows through here. So that's why this also is equal to 2.0 amperes. Now, both of them closed. Now, when both of them are closed here, both of them are closed here, what happens is the current comes here. It divides like this, like this. So first, what I must do is, what I must do is, so VAB is still same. So now VAB, VAB is equal to, is equal to, the current flowing through here into R. So let us say current I1 prime into R. VAB is equal to 2R. So 2R is equal to I1 prime into R. So I1 prime is equal to 2 amperes. So this is 2 amperes. So through Y it is 2. Through Y it is 2. 2.0 amperes. Now for this thing, for this thing I'll have VAB is equal to so let me name it as I2 prime into 2R. So that means 2R is equal to I2 prime into 2R. So that's why I must have this I2 prime is equal to 1 ampere. So the Z reading should be equal to 1.0 amperes. Now this 2 ampere and this 1 ampere is because of this. So this must have divided into 2 and 1. So it should be equal to 3 amperes, which is course of law. First law. Or course of current law, which I can see. So this should be 3.0 amperes. So that completes the table for this problem.